next guest today is a world-renowned mezzo soprano, and she continues to captivate audiences with her powerful stage presence and spectacular voice. Take a look at her in the Metropolitan Opera's production of the Damnation of Faust. <laughs> Please welcome back to the show, Grammy Award winning Susan Graham. too long since we saw you last year. I it's know, so nice. just a few months ago. And the, the last appearance here, I was just about to embark on a long European tour. Right. And I got back three days ago. And how did it go, the tour? Oh, it was long. Yeah? It was really long. But it's a long time to live out of a suitcase, like four <laughs> months. <laughs> very, very. But Not uh, that being in Paris for that time is a horrible thing, but, you know, but, I miss home. Um, so, and so the, the performance that we just saw was broadcast around the world. It was. And, and the, sort of the simulcast. Uh, That's right. And that's so exciting on Saturday afternoon. Was that a Saturday afternoon? It or? was. We do yeah. a live performance that's broadcast to movie theaters throughout the world. There are something like 800 of them or something like that. And, and it's a wonderful thing because it brings opera to my mother in Midland, Texas. Speaking exactly. of Mother's Day. Do you want to say hi to Mom? Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. <laughs> are, you gonna, are you going to see her on Sunday or just talk to her? Well, I would, but I have a little concert at Carnegie Hall the next oh, day. Oh, so oh, I think you better stay in New York. I, I'm, I'm going the week after that, Oh, though. good. Excellent. Okay. Well, we all know that you can sing, but did your mom teach you how to bake? Yes. Is yes. that the right answer? <laughs> I have made a number of cookies in my time. Right. I mean, you can imagine that on the road, I don't have a lot of time to... Yeah, you don't have kitchens. ...to carry my KitchenAid with me would require an extra suitcase, so... And most people catch you. I mean, most people... I just asked in the green room uh, when she was back there, I said, she's coming to Terramore, which is right across the street from my so house. So you have you're, to come to the concert. I am, and you're doing opening night, mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. and I want to have a dinner for you, so maybe the night before. That is not an offer I would dream of refusing. Okay, <laughs> absolutely. I'd be but it would be honest. it would be really nice to have to have you over for dinner, and you can uh, pet the donkey. And I want to meet your dogs too. Yes, of course. Oh, F, F and S, Francesca and Sharky, will be happy to <laughs> to meet you. And okay. you can give them a voice lesson. Do they sing along? Oh, they do. My dog always sang oh, along. Oh, they do. Oh. They do. Well, since Mother's Day is this Sunday, I'm going to show Susan how to make a delectable. It's right here, and it is delectable lemony angel oh, food yum. cake. Mm. And of course, mm. without the frosting, there's no cholesterol. Oh, good. Uh, you know, but no calories either. Uh, no, oh, hardly, hardly. I mean, <laughs> angel food cake is like eating air. Light as feather. Yes, exactly. Yes. And it's easy. And the recipe comes from the May issue of Martha Stewart Living. Um, and so let's get started. 12 egg whites. Wow. So here, come over here. That's uh, just a oh, swap okay. out. Okay. So 12 egg whites, and we're just going to start beating them at high speed. You can add a quarter teaspoon of salt, One. a teaspoon of cream of tartar. Is that the whole thing? thing? Yeah, just dump it in. Two, tea, uh, two tablespoons of lemon zest. This is a nice lemony angel food cake. So yeah, knock that in. Uh oh. Yep. Hold up. And one tablespoon plus one teaspoon. Plus one teaspoon. Yeah, it's like That's it's important. like you know a half note. <laughs> That's like an eighth note. That okay, an eighth note. note. So here, just oh. uh, one teaspoon oh, of vanilla. Okay. And you beat this and beat this until it forms soft cubes. Mm. And uh, and you That's can good. start adding the covered sugar gradually. Mm. Okay, so it's starting just it very gradually, yeah, like that. Okay. And it, it just all of a sudden starts to thicken, oh, and, and the air gets beaten into the egg whites. Uh, and that is the basis, really, for the cake. That's not so hard. And That's a lot easier than the fish you made me make last oh, time. Oh, I know, much easier. <laughs> <laughs> and smells better, too, although that now, was delicious. Now, we can turn this off, but you get the idea. And just keep beating until it mm. looks like this mixture. Look so, see, soft cubes. Mm. And the way you tell it's a soft cube is really just to take the mixer off and just lift up and that's a soft cube. See, mm. it just falls over on itself. So this one's all done and we have to now fold in. We'll make sure when you um, when you scrape the beater, take it all off because the lemon zest tends to get stuck on there. You know, mm. there's a little bit of lemon zest in there. But you can sift the uh, one cup of cake flour okay. with a half a cup of sugar through that sifter. Together? Yeah, they can go together. It doesn't matter. 
This is about the part in the process where my mother would invite me to join her in the licking yes. of the beaters and the Oh, blanket. yes. This is the best part. Mm -hmm. I, I was just about to lick my fingers. I love... I saw that. I know. <laughs> I love licking my fingers. <laughs> So, so use a very, very fine sieve uh, to sift the flour. You want no lumps whatsoever, and you can push it through with this, okay. too, if you want. But it really does take out every single lump. And since this is the cake, you don't want any lumps whatsoever. That's good. Yeah, just push it all the way through. Mm -hmm. It'll all go. Every little bit. And now you can use your uh, fingertips. Use your fingertips. Mash it? Just mash yeah. it? Fingertips. All of them, yes. Like that? Yeah. Oh, that's better. Yeah, get that all through. Okay. Because we don't want to miss any of the sugar. Now, if there's no lumps left, you can just dump the rest in. Just dump it. Just dump it, yeah. Okay. So now the folding. And uh, this is important to not oh, not deflate these beautiful egg whites. But you can see how pretty they look. Mm, Silky so and gorgeous. Yeah. And then this gets mixed in. I'm going to put a little bit at a time, like a third, and then mix that in. And it looks, it looks like it's never going to go in, but it does. It does. And we have an angel food cake pan. You know those. Oh, yes. They have removable centers. And you want to put that out and just show everybody? Yeah. Get this one. Perfect. And now you've never had a musical part that requires you to sort of make big your foot on stage? No, you know, the, the part, the opera that drew me into wanting to be an opera singer in the first place was Mozart's Cosi Fan Tutte. And it's because there's a part for a maid who sort of is the one who makes all the mischief happen. <laughs> and in her introduction to the audience, she's sipping hot chocolate. She makes hot chocolate, and then she takes a sip of it and sings an aria. And I thought, oh. that's what I want to do. Yes. <laughs> if you can sing and drink hot chocolate at the same How time. How many times have you died? Um, you know, <laughs> opera singers. As a character or as a quality of my performance? Let's see. <laughs> Um, no, as a character. I think... I opera think singers die more than any no, other performer. Sopranos die. Yes. Sopranos die. I'm a okay, mezzo soprano. No, right. I'm usually the best friend of the one who dies. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> or we talked about this last time. I play trouser roles. Mezzo sopranos play a boy on stage sometimes. So sometimes I'm the boyfriend of the one who dies. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> so now you can, you, you can turn this. We're going to put mm -hmm. this into... Oh, by the way, we preheated the oven to 370, oh, 325 degrees, and um, and this cake will go into the preheated oven. Has to be preheated, and we use these aluminum pans because uh, they're kind of um, they have little marks in them, and the reason is that these egg whites will creep up the sides of the pan and stick. Uh -huh. And you don't use any, you never grease these pans because you want the egg whites to stick to the sides. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah, the cake, the cake um, has a tendency to stick to the aluminum. And I, yeah, it's very good to know because you, it's a chemical reaction, really. And it stays that way. And then they're nice and high and light. Hmm. Okay. So you can see the little pieces of the lemon zest in there. That's yes, beautiful. Yes, yes. And it's very pretty. So just even out the cake. Don't bang it to even it out. Just don't go gently. Don't, don't. No, don't do that. Because you want to keep the air bubbles in it? Yeah, yeah. Bit? You want a light, light, light cake. So there. Sort of like a souffle. It's pretty. And then you want to lick? Sure. <laughs> are you as bad as I am? I'm worse. Oh, you are here. Thanks. It tastes really good. We're going to get this in the oven. When we return, we'll show you how to make beautiful candied lemon flowers. Mm. The angel food cake.